Uh, taking in a major baseball game, especially when you're talking about, say, the Astros, World Series champion Astros, there are many thousands <clears throat> who've never had that chance. And that's especially true of many Houstonians who are in underserved communities. Two women saw that as a challenge. They created an organization that they call Take Me Out to the Ball Game with a goal of taking a thousand minority children to Astros games. And they started by setting up a meeting for one of the first groups with Astros manager Dusty Baker. What a great way to start. The women responsible for this undertaking, Nakia Cooper and Rebecca Briscoe. Good to see you both this morning. You're also part uh, of an organization called Sisters to Sister. Uh, yes. And so this is, you've worked together. What was it about this problem or challenge in the community that made you decide to do this? It just was Cambrail the stats. You know, by us also being members of HABJ, the statistics of them having less than 7% of African Americans in the ballpark, currently having two um, managers in, in, in MLB, and, and so many people were talking, but no one were putting executionable outcomes. Mm -hmm. So we put our hats together and we said, we're going to do something because um, this has been a labor of love. We've been in contact with Mr. Dusty Baker for two years now, mm -hmm. um, where the first time we called him, he was like, hey, I love this idea, but it's COVID. And then the second time we went to a game and we were like, well, we want to talk to you during halftime. And so he was like, they don't have any halftime <laughs> in baseball. And so um, then the World Series happened. And so it, two days after the World Series, we called him back again. He said, I'm doing it. Let's make it happen. We got his confirmation. And we just want to make sure we give these opportunities exposure, experience, you know, just once in a lifetime opportunities these children would most likely never have. So you're thinking about ways, to, one thing is look at the problem, the challenge. The other thing is how you narrow it down to what you actually are going to execute. How did that happen? You narrow it down just a group of taking groups of kids to the games all summer long. How did that come about? So this is not our first rodeo. We both are mothers and we both have we've been having sister to sisters organization since about what 2015, 2016. Yes. But at that time we weren't a, an established nonprofit. We were just two women who were just making things happen out of our own pockets. Right. And we were all about exposure. So we did different things with sister to sister taking a group of 12 women to go see their first Broadway play, you know, in, in New York City. That was one thing. Another time we pair, paired up with the Dwight D. and Cheryl H. Howard Foundation and we created the Holiday Hoopla to give children that. And then when Dwight Howard left, you know, we were looking for someone, we found Dusty Baker. We used the same me method that we did before. We do um, calls outs on um, social media. We go to, the, we went to the radio station. We do pushes. We contact churches. We contact the Little League teams. Yes. Um, we uh, contact the coaches. We do all of those so, different things in schools to say, send us your kids. Who do you want? And we don't turn anyone away. So talk about how you felt. We'll show the video of some of the faces of these young kids who were able to come and experience a baseball game. Tell me how you felt when you, you were able to experience <coughs> what they were experiencing with, the, with Dusty and with the group of kids. It must be really gratifying. You know, we were dealt with a lot of challenges, Cambrell, and we were dealt with programs, industry titans who were committed to the African-American community and underserved communities. And when we reached out, they gave us no look. And so for us to just know that we pushed through, we pulled through, we dedicated ourselves, and to see those children light up, to just touch Dusty Baker, hold his hand, engage in a conversation, that just gave me the most gratifying feeling ever. And, and the goal I was cried. A, <laughs> well, I can understand why you would. We have a minute left. What's the goal for the rest of the year? for the rest of the season, and how can people help? Well, today we are taking at least 100 children to see the Astros play today at 1 o'clock at Minute Maid Park. We also have another game lined up for August 23rd. We also have some more games lined up for septem in September. Mm -hmm. So we still have room because guess what? If we don't have it, we'll find it, and we're going to put your child in. We're turning no children away, and that's any race, any nationality, everything. It started as a labor of love to bring the love of baseball black to the community, getting African Americans more involved. I see what you did. Yeah, you saw that. You like that? <laughs> we on Cambrell, honey. <laughs> but look, and so now we just are continuing on because we believe that all the children in this city deserve to see that beautiful Minute Maid Park. And, and another thing, we're feeding everyone, we're paying for your transportation. You come completely scot free because you cannot ask for children in underserved communities to come and then you they don't have money for food. I'll make sure I put the information about how to contact you on the Newsmakers page on clicktoyouson.com.
Thank, Thank you. you ladies. Thank you. Good to see you. Never say no to them, that's for sure. That's right. Akia Cooper, Rebecca Briscoe, thank you. I'll put the information, as I said, on my website.